DiEM is not in the business of reinventing the wheel. Our manifesto states it very clearly. We are determined to build upon a magnificent tradition of fellow Europeans who have struggled for centuries against the wisdom that democracy is a luxury and that the weak must suffer what they must. And it is not just past struggles that we build on, it's present struggles. We heard today about the campaigns earlier today to stop evictions in Madrid, uh, the right to water in Ireland, uh, the constant struggle of the Greek people for dignity. There is a crusade to provide higher education options to Portuguese students, the mobilization of citizens in Calais and Hungary against xenophobia, the movements here in Berlin, in Frankfurt, throughout Germany, to, pro to protect those that the establishment considers fodder. Our next speaker comes from the very fiber of these movements. Anna Stiede is a Blockupy activist who researches the interrelations of gender, commodification, and capital accumulation. Anna, please come to the podium. Kalispera, good evening. And uh, Janis, a heartfelt thanks to you um, for this invitation to speak with you tonight here at the Volksbühne. After you visited us at the Blockupy meeting last Sunday, it is great to have now the opportunity to continue this conversation here. So, Janis, you said that um, with the DiEM, you want to create an infrastructure capable of bundling very different energies together, of allowing us to embark on a common search for democracy. So I cancel now all the aspects of our or my analysis because the question here you raised with Diem is much more strategic one. So with Diem you ask how to connect struggles and counter powers against the elite. That's also our question with Blockupy. We don't think that there's just one right answer to this question. So we are happy to hear um, from your program and we are very happy that all we are here to organize ourselves against this Europe of austerity and authority. We really need actors and not just one who are able to rebel this European Union institutions which continue to attack our lives by fear with precarization, austerity and the border regimes that keep us apart from and in the worst case against one another. With Blockupy we experienced that it's not just enough to be activists. So, first of all, we think we need a long-term perspective. So, your thing with 2025 is a good one. Then we can and will play different roles and address and activate very, very different parts of civil society. But we also will need common points of culmination. So, your aim is to struggle for democracy by fighting with transparency. As we built the Blockupy project, we defined it along three main aims. Solidarity, commons and democracy. But we have also learned that naming aims is not enough. Solidarity, commons and democracy need to be practiced, need to be learned and developed together as ways of social and political life. So, where these aims become concrete practice, like in solidarity structures in Greece, but also in the strong struggles of our Kurdish friends and comrades, we see the real power. So secondly, we don't need classical politics of programs, because the most important thing is resistance is a social process. More than offering political representation, we need real places and new political forms that have to be created from below, from us. So, with Syriza and Greece, we have also seen that the mere promise of salvation does not do the uneasy, sometimes even uncomfortable work of moving and changing our relations. And this can only be reached if it's done in many different ways, in social and political contexts that still relate to one another. So, with Blockupy, we have learned the last four years a similar lesson. Creating a strong network or alliance does not automatically lead to progressive transformation. So even projects that succeed to become bigger actors 
have their real limits. So if they are not real, if they are not based in material, everyday life, they cannot work as struggles against fear, racism and loneliness. So also for us remains the question, how can we create an organic connection of the concrete daily struggles with a more abstract scale of European politics? And for that, we have to accept the very different logics of struggles. Therein, it is a more open question of how we can not only address the invisibles and excluded, but formulate also a real proposal to the many to get active. So thirdly, we have to shake our habits. We need a heterogeneous left. And in this way, we should consider tonight potential political forms and address the question of how we transform our own politics. How can we be heterogeneous but not fragmented? How can we relate to each other and hopefully to many, many more? So fourthly, we really have to be disobedient. Blockupy is a pan-European answer on the streets against austerity and authority. Perhaps it's time to get forward and beyond the question of a plan A, B or C, but creating a new internationalism where we mark our contradiction on the streets and squares and develop our progressive visions there. This also means that we must first develop a better understanding of our own embedded being in the local, here, right now. So, how can we, the we gathered here together in the Volksbühne and you in front of the monitors at home, start this creation? I pose this question not only to you, Janis, but to all of us who are willing to make a difference, what can, what can and will be the concrete difference from tomorrow on, after the starting point of Diem, right here in Berlin, for example? So we promised you on Sunday uh, to share some conclusions of our Blockupy gathering the last weekend, and there are some major lines and proposals I would like to share with you, ending my statement. So first, together with our friends from all over Europe, we are heading for a first transnational mobilization to Berlin this autumn. A chance to mark, block and demonstrate against the leading politics of inhumanity, suppression, fear and war. Second, we express our will to create a disobedient and European mobilization against the German Europe in spring 2017 before the German national elections. This is an open invitation to everyone to join us or invent their own pictures in such an offensive. Third, with many of our friends, we found it super important to support the mobilizations against the border regime and support the decentralized action day of the social strike platform, which will take place the 1st of March. And finally, fourth, some of us are now focusing on the urban space, creating structures for solidarity for all. We learned from the welcome initiatives that it's time to struggle in solidarity for a better life, for struggling against generalized and normalized precarity and finding supportive and rebellious ways of living together. In Berlin, this is starting in the open initiative Berlin für alle, Berlin for all, an initiative which also started in other cities right now. Everyone is welcome to join us in the initial gate gathering of that initiative on February the 14th here in Berlin. In this sense, we like to look forward together for the spring that will come. But don't worry, nobody is forced to join Blockupy. But let's act together, as movements do, and let's act together in the squares of Berlin and all over Europe and also beyond. So, really, let us be fearless. Let us interrupt this regime of suppression after the suffered setback of the Greek uprising, which was also suffering our common weakness, and it's up to all of us now. Let us be an occasion. Let us build something new so that the other Europe, the, demo the, the democratic, the equal, the boundless, happy one is more than just a slogan.
Let us fight for an end of the sadness. And yeah, for this, uh, yeah, we also bring something, uh, we brought something with us for you, Janis. Uh, also, if I'm sure that you still have a gas mask from Zintagma Square at home, I present you something like an action kit with love from us and hope to see you in the square with us.